Hello there, my friends. So we did a draft, a limited draft yesterday, last night, and uh, I lost all my games. Uh, <laughs> if you watched my other video, you'll know why I lost all my games. Uh, basically, I don't know what I'm doing. I've never played a card game like this before. But I won in the sense that I have all these rares. So there were only three packs, and usually you only get one rare or legendary in each pack. So I paid for basically three packs plus five dollars for the event. So let's say they're five dollars a pack, twenty dollars, four packs. So I should have got four rares, but I have eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So let's go through them and see what I got because some of these cards I don't have, I, I, I didn't have in my deck earlier, and some of these are interesting cards. So. Um, uh, let's see who we got. We got Delmico, who is a Vigilance uh, Villainy card, which is cool. He's also an Imperial Trooper. So Imperial cards are a big deal if you have a Tarkin deck, right? So if you're running blue Tarkin, this one might be a nice card. And, and any card that restores health to your base is awesome. And it says here if your opponent plays an event, it's going to cost one more. So... I played this once and it immediately got killed, and I don't blame the uh, person for sending this back into my hand. I did not play this card. The Emperor's Legion returned each unit in your discard pile that was deleted this phase to your hand. So that could be cool if you're playing against a control deck. Emperor of Palpatine, I do have this one uh, already, and this is a later game card when you ramp up and uh, overwhelm. Attack an enemy unit, deals excess damage, and deal six damage divided as you want among different enemy units when you play this card. And he's force, which is great. So if you have like force choke or force throw, very cool. Imperial Sith official. He's got a lot of different uh, labels here. So this card's going to become more and more important as the decks go on, I believe. Uh, Lando Calrissian. Oh, sorry, my ring fell off. Anyway, my wife bought that for me. Um, Lando Calrissian. So I have this card. I feel a little weird about this card because actually somebody traded me a Fett's Fire Spray and I got this card um, week one when I really didn't know what I was doing. I kind of feel like I got taken advantage of there. But now I have two Landos. So if he ever becomes like a good thing, he does have Saboteur and you can return resources to their opponent's hands. So that might help late game so people can't, like, get their eight and nine resource cards out. So this might actually, you know, slow somebody's ramp, I think is the term. <laughs> you guys tell me. Um, regional Governor, this is a great first play because it only costs two and it has a four defense. So it's probably going to survive. And then you can name a card. So if you know somebody's playing a control deck or some, or there's a card in there you just don't want to, like, face later, like... Rebel Assault or something like that, you can name that card. And while this card's in play, so if you keep like uh, um, adding buffs to it and keep it in play, you can prevent them from playing that killer card. Or maybe you can say Boba as an as a unit or something like that if you're playing a Boba deck against a Boba deck. Frontline Shuttle. Uh, yeah, it only costs two. Obviously, it's a space unit. That's a big deal. Uh, attack with a unit. Even if it's exhausted after this is defeated, but it can't attack bases. So that's still pretty good. Traitorous, this is great. You can take somebody else's card. When this lead, when this upgrade becomes attached to a non-leader unit that costs three or less, take control of that unit. So you play this on your opponent's unit. When this upgrade becomes unattached from a unit, the owner's unit takes control of it. So if they can defeat this. So say they have one big baddie. You can, like, play this, take it, and then they can't attack you, and you can attack with it. So that's pretty cool. Sneak attack. I use this a bunch of times. Play a unit from your hand. It costs three less. And enters uh, play ready at the start of the regroup phase. Defeat it. <clears throat> Don't get cocky. Choose a unit. This is kind of like gambling. This is pretty cool. One at a time, you reveal your cards until you stop. Or until seven cards have been done. If the combined total is seven or less, you can deal that much damage to a unit, one unit. And then uh, put the revealed cards on the bottom of your deck in a random order. So you don't lose the cards. 
you're just gambling on the number as you turn them over. So if you know you have a lot of small value cards in your deck, or if you've looked at your cards because you had R2-D2 or something like that, um, then maybe you can use this more effectively. Saw Guerrera, I really like this card, but it is double red. Uh, as, an, as an additional cost, each opponent to play an event, they have to deal two damage to their base. So that's pretty cool. This card is great. Bombing run, choose an arena and do damage to all of these, you know, each unit in that arena, deal three damage. So that's pretty amazing. But, so if you don't have anything in the ground unit and you're doing all space, you can bomb that. If you don't have anybody in space, you can bomb all that. So that's pretty cool. So that's an equalizer card. So those are my rares that I got last night. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, put them down below. Thank you all 13,000 of you for being out there. It's great talking to you all online. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can uh, do something cool. And I'll go over my uncommons in a new video. All right, take care.